Hi, I'm Dave Meany, Vice President of North American Sales for ECS Incorporated. In this Quartz Resonator Series video, I'll be discussing frequency tolerance and frequency stability. To understand tolerance and stability, we must first look at the quartz itself. Because the density and structure of quartz varies with temperature, you will see frequency deviations as the temperature changes. By cutting the quartz at different angles, you can optimize the quartz blank to perform better in a specific application. For some of today's most stringent applications that require high stability and wide temp ranges, we would use an AT cut crystal blank. The frequency tolerance of a crystal is defined as the allowable deviation from the specified frequency when measured at 25 degrees Celsius or room temperature. The frequency stability is defined as the allowable deviation over the rated temperature range, typically minus 40 degrees to 85 degrees Celsius. Something to remember is that tolerance and stability are cumulative when managing your accuracy budget. They are typically expressed in parts per million or sometimes as a percentage of the frequency. For instance, a crystal may be specified as having a frequency tolerance of plus and minus 50 parts per million at 25 degrees Celsius and a frequency stability of plus or minus 50 parts per million over a specified operating temperature. This would give the crystal an overall stability and tolerance budget of plus or minus 100 parts per million or 0.01% potential frequency error. For help determining the right crystal for your application, please contact ECS Incorporated Tech Support or visit our website for helpful tools like our parametric search and our part number builder. Thank you for watching.